The relationship between the Fahrenheit scale and the Celsius scale for temperature is also a linear one. We have Fahrenheit is, the Fahrenheit reading is 9 over 5 times the Celsius reading plus 32. So we can use this to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's try one of these. Suppose we're told that the temperature is negative 30 degrees Celsius. What does that mean in Fahrenheit, or what's the reading in Fahrenheit? It should be 9 over 5 times negative 30 plus 32. And this is equal to negative 9 times 30 over 5, which is 6, plus 32. And that's negative 54 plus 32. And that's equal to negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. So when the temperature is minus 30 degrees Celsius, then it's minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. You should try the others and then um, restart the video and have a look at the solutions. When the temperature is at negative 10 in Celsius, then in Fahrenheit it's 9 over 5 times negative 10 plus 32 which is minus 9 times 2 plus 32, which is minus 18 plus 32, and that's equal to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. This one's easy. When the Celsius reading is 0, the Fahrenheit reading is 9 over 5 times 0 plus 32, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And when the Celsius reading is 10, the Fahrenheit reading is 9 over 5 times 10 plus 32, and that's equal to 9 times 2 plus 32, that's 18 plus 32, and that's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. When the Celsius reading is at 25 degrees, the Fahrenheit reading is 9 over 5 times 25 plus 32, and that's equal to 9 times 5 plus 32, which is 45 plus 32, and that's equal to 77 degrees in Fahrenheit. We can go the other way. And we can do that by solving for C in terms of F. So if we have F is equal to 9 over 5 times C plus 32, then we have F minus 32 is 9 over 5 times C. And now multiplying across by 5 and dividing by 9, I get 5 times F minus 32 over 9 is equal to C, or 5F minus 160 over 9 is equal to C. So I can use this to convert. Given Fahrenheit, say Fahrenheit is negative 30, then C is 5 times negative 30 minus 160 over 9. And this is minus 150 minus 160 over 9 in Celsius, which is minus 310 over 9, which is negative 34.44 Four, and those fours go on forever, so I'll denote that by a dot over the last four. And these are degrees in Celsius. So a reading of negative 30 in Fahrenheit translates to negative 34-ish in Celsius. 
When Fahrenheit's at zero, Celsius is five times zero minus one sixty over nine. And that's equal to negative one sixty over nine, which is equal to negative seventeen point seven seven seven. Those sevens go on forever. And that's my reading in Celsius when uh, when we're at zero in Fahrenheit. When we have a reading of 25 in Fahrenheit, our Celsius reading is 5 times 25 minus 160 over 9. And that's 125 minus 160 over 9. That's equal to minus 35 over 9. And that's equal to minus 3.888, and those 8s go on forever, degrees Celsius. And for 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the Celsius reading is 5 times 90 minus 160 over 9, and that's 450 minus 160 over 9, and that's equal to 290 over 9, which is equal to 32.333, and those 3's go on forever, degrees centigrade. Suppose I want to sketch the relationship between both scales on a Cartesian plane. Then this line is going to cross the y-axis at 32. So I'm going to um, draw my units. Well, this is the f-axis. On the f-axis in steps of 10. And I'll do the same thing for Celsius. So the relationship is between the variable C for Celsius and f for Fahrenheit, and it's going to be a graph of the equation f equals 9 over 5 Celsius plus 32. Now the rules of drawing the graphs, drawing graphs for f and c are the same as the rules for drawing graphs for y and x, so this is going to be a line. It's f equals mx plus b. And when I plug in c equals 0 here, I'm going to get 32. So as promised, I'll mark off the f-axis in increments of 10. And this line is going to cross that axis at 32. It has a positive slope, so it's increasing. And for c equal to 10, well, we've figured that out here. When C is 10, F is 50, so the point 10, 50 is on the graph. When Celsius is 10, Fahrenheit is 50. And I need to add another step of 10 units here, so this point is on the graph. Now, once I have two points on the line, remember that gives me the entire line. So I join these two points and I extend the line in both directions to infinity and beyond. And you can see that um, when Fahrenheit is zero, this should cut the Celsius axis at around minus 17.77 degrees. And it roughly does. If I had drawn the minus 10 in the correct place, that would have happened. Find the temperature at which both scales agree. Well, this is an interesting problem. You should ponder on it a little before you see the solution. So we know already 
the Fahrenheit is always 9 over 5 times the Celsius reading plus 32. And this question says, when is f equal to c? Meaning, for what values of f and c, they're going to be the same, are these two equal? Well, we have simultaneous equations here. We have f equals 9 over 5c plus 32 and f equals c. And if re you recall how we solve them, we solve for f in terms of c, and then we equate both expressions for f. So f is always 9 over 5 times c plus 32, and when f is c, then f is c. So in that case, when both of these are true, we have 9 over 5 c plus 32 equals c when f is actually equal to c. Now I can solve for c and I bring all of the c's to the left or perhaps to the right in this case and I bring all of the numbers to the left and we have c minus 9 over 5 which is minus 4 over 5c is equal to 32 and that means that c is going to be equal to minus 5 times 32 over 4 and that's minus 8 times 5 and that's minus 40 so when C is minus 40 degrees, what is this saying? Then both of these equations are true. So when C equals minus 40 degrees, then Fahrenheit is also equal to minus 40 degrees. So they're both equal minus 40 degrees. You can also check that in this equation since this is the solution to the simultaneous equations, it should fit into both of these equations.